and a little bit of pepper because rice don't require all that extra seasoning. So I'm putting a little salt in here. Then I'm going to put a little uh, lemon pepper in there. Okay. This is what I'm seasoning my rice with. Okay. Now, my corn, okay, my corn, I'm going to put a little uh, salt. And lemon pepper in my corn. Okay, lemon pepper in my corn. Okay, so that's about it for the corn. And I might put a little uh, garlic, little garlic powder on it. Okay, now that's it for the corn. Until the corn get done, that's it for the rice. So the rice and get done. Okay guys, now here's the pork chops. I'm gonna show you guys how to season my pork chops. I'm gonna season the pork chops and put them on. Okay, I'm gonna wash the pork chops off real good and I'm gonna put them on this plate and season them. These are the pork chops right here. Okay, I'm gonna season the pork chops and put the pork chops on. Gotta clean your meat. Gotta cook with, have some clean meat. Can't have no nasty, dirty meat. Okay, so I'm cleaning the meat. Okay. So I just got through washing the pork chops out, guys, and here they go, right here. Now I'm gonna season these three pork chops and put those on first. Okay, and while I'm waiting for the season, I got this pan right here. I'm gonna put the skillet on the stove and I'm going to, here go the cooking oil right here, guys. I'm gonna put some cooking oil and the, uh, the skillet I just put on the stove. Okay, I'm gonna put some oil in here for the pork chops. Okay, that's enough for the pork chops right there. Okay, then I'm going to season the pork chops. Now what am I gonna season my pork chops with? I'm gonna season them with a little seasoning salt. See guys, look at the powder. Powder. A little lemon pepper, guys. The lemon pepper. And a little crushed pepper. A little crushed pepper. Now I'm going to flip them over and season the other side the same way I just seasoned the first side. Okay, I'm going to put a little seasoning salt. A little garlic powder. A little lemon pepper. And a little crushed pepper. I'm gonna show you guys how they look before I put them in the skillet, in the flour, and I'm put them in the skillet. Okay, guys, this is how my pork chop looks while it's seasoning. Hope you guys can see it real good. Okay, so now here's the flour I'm gonna use for the pork chops. I'm gonna dip the flour inside the pork chops on both sides and put it in the skillet. I'm going to do each of these pork chops like that. Okay, flour them down real good and put them in the skillet. Okay. Alrighty. That's one of the pork chops. Now flour them down the other one. 
See, this is how I'm flouring down the pork chop, guys. And then I'm going to show you guys how I do my gravy. How I make my gravy. That, uh, then I'm going to smother my pork chops in the gravy for you guys. So you guys can see how I cook smother pork chops. And if anyone don't know how to cook smother pork chops, watch how I cook smother pork chops. Then teach you how to cook smother pork chops. Okay, so... Anyway, so I'm done flouring up the pork chops and I'm putting it in the skillet. Okay, I got flowers all over my hand. Anyway, so let me wash my hands off. Wash my hands real good. Get the flour off. Okay, guys, so now I got the pork chops on. And I'm gonna wash this plate out real good with some dish detergent. Okay. Okay, now wash the plate off real good. So now I'm going to uh stir up the rice. This is my rice spoon. This is my corn spoon. <laughs> so I'm going to do the uh, rice first. Stir the rice up real good so it's going to stick to the pan. Okay. And then I'm going to stir up the corn guys. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do my corn a little different. I'm gonna let the butter cook in the corn. Usually, I like wait till the corn get done and put the butter in there. But I'm doing things a little different tonight, guys. I'm gonna let my butter. I'm gonna let the butter cook into the corn. That's what I'm gonna do. So this is my butter right here. I'm gonna put this half stick in there, cook into the corn, make the corn real buttery, delicious, and then melt up in there. And. That's what I'm going to do with the corn. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, like I said, I put some smothered pork chops with gravy, some rice and gravy, and some buttery corn. That's what I'm fixing uh, tonight. I'm going to put another this in the corn, make it a little, you know, spicy. <laughs> Give it a little flavor, you know. Okay. And so, got the corn on, got the pork chops on, guys, and I got the rice on. So, uh, this is how I make my pork chop, this is how I make my corn, this is how I make my rice. Everybody cook different, everybody makes their food different, everybody got their own special flavor, their own special season. They just like to the season their food with. But I have my own special seasoning as well. How I like my food to taste. And everybody don't season their food the same. Some people do, some people don't. So I want to cook for you guys. I'm going to have more cooking videos coming for you guys. I'm going to have a lot of videos coming for you guys. It's going to be different content coming for you guys. But I'm definitely going to have a lot of cooking videos coming for you guys. Okay. Checking on these pork chips. Now let me stir up this rice because I don't want the rice to stick it to the pan, guys. <laughs> okay, the rice is coming on. Then I'm going to stir up this corn, the butter into the corn. And then when the rice gets done, I got to put the butter here and let the uh, Butter melt into the rice and stir the butter up in there as well. So, 
this is what I'm doing right now. Okay. All right. Okay, so I got the pork chop cooking. I got the onions chopped up in this bowl for my gravy. I got the onions chopped up in the bowl for my gravy. Then you drain all the juice out of your whole corn, you drain all the juice out of your string bean, um, whatever canned vegetable that you're cook, making, when you make vegetable soup, you gotta drain all the juice out of it because you got the, when you make the vegetable soup, you're gonna put some water in the pot and you're gonna cut some potatoes off, potatoes up, wash the potatoes off and uh, clean the potatoes, then you're gonna put the potatoes in the water to go with the, um, for your soup. And then you're gonna put the string beans, the corn, uh, the mixed vegetables, whatever you want in your soup. You're gonna pour that in the pot. Once the potato gets done, you're gonna pour that different, the different kind of vegetables in the pot with the potatoes. This is how you make vegetable soup. You're gonna pour the uh, the um, different vegetables in the pot on top of the potatoes. Once the potato gets done, let that cook up in there. And then you take some tomato sauce and you open up tomato sauce and you pour all that up in there and then you season that vegetable soup the way you want. You want to put minced, minced onion, you want to put regular onions, whatever, high, which way you want to make your vegetable soup. That's how you do ve vegetable soup, guys. I don't know, some guys probably know how to make vegetable soup, some don't. And then if you want to put some meat, like neck bones or something like that in your vegetable soup, you let the neck bone cook right along with the potatoes first. Then when the neck bone potatoes get done, you put the string beans in corn, whatever you're going to put in there because corn and string bean stuff basically don't take no time to get done. It's basically already done. You're basically just pre-cooking it or pre-heating it up. So that's how you make the vegetable soup. Some people like meat in their vegetable soup, some don't. I like meat in mine. So I'm going to stir up this uh, corn again. Guys, and this corn is basically done. Yeah, this corn is basically done. So I'm going to the stove off on the corn. Now let me turn this, this pork chop over. Let it smell good up in here, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to show you how the pork chop looks so far. They're not done, but I'm going to show you how they look so far. This is how the pork chop is looking so far, guys. This is how the pork chop is looking. Okay, now the rice, I'm gonna stir up the rice now. How the rice look, guys. <laughs> it's getting there. So basically, the dinner I'm putting tonight, the smothered pork chop is the uh, most I have to uh, do because the smothered pork chop I have to make the gravy, you know, to go with it. So I'll be right back, guys.
I forgot this. Uh, <laughs> I took this out right here at the refrigerator uh, when I got ready to cook dinner because I started to make mac and cheese. Um, I started to make some mac and cheese with a, and make a real, real cheese with shredded cheese, but I changed my mind and said I'm going to fix uh, some rice and gravy, you know, some smother pork chops and some corn because some other pork chops and rice and gravy and corn, they all go together. So I changed my mind about that. Check on the, the rice again. Yeah, this rice is done, guys. This rice is all the way done. It's soft and it's fluffy. So what I'm going to have to do is drain the juice, uh, the water from it, and then butter it down and make a real butter. That's what I'm going to have to do with the rice. Because the rice is pretty much basically done. So I'm going to take this rice and I'm going to drain some of this juice out of it. This is how I do my rice. So it won't be all too much water or water down or whatever. You're not supposed to have too much water. None of your food. Not your greens. Not your rice. Not your spaghetti. None of that stuff. You don't want no watery rice, right? watery spaghetti, water down green, you know. I don't like watery, too food, too, no watery food. That's too watery. You're supposed to have a certain amount of juice in your food and that's it. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, so I'm turning over the pork chops again. Oh, that pork chop looks delicious. <laughs> I'm going to show you one of these pork chops. It looks delicious, guys. I'm going to show you the pork chop right here. Look how this pork chop looks. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's how the pork chop looks so far. <laughs> The rice is all the way salt, fluffy, and done. That's the way I like it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put this stick of butter in the rice. I already seasoned the rice, and I'm going to put the butter in it. Now I got to let this butter melt up in there. Stir the butter in the rice real good. Okay. I drained the juice from the rice, guys. So now I'm gonna let the butter melt in there real good. And cause the rice so hot, um, I'd have to leave the stove on. It's still gonna automatically just melt the butter in there. Now, the pork chops are done. I'm gonna try it over one more time, but yeah, they are done. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the pork chops out of the skillet and I'm gonna put it In this plate right here. I'm going to put it in the plate. I'm going to put the, the, the pork chops in here. Okay, then I'm going to show you guys how I'm about to do my gravy. I'm going to show you guys how I'm about to do my gravy. I want to make some homemade tacos too. I'm going to show you guys how to do my tacos as well. Uh, okay, now, as you guys know, when you make homemade gravy from scratch, you use the same grease that you fry the pork chops or the chicken in to make your smother gravy or your smother uh, pork chops. Now I'm going to make the smother gravy. I'm going to show you guys how I do my smother gravy. Okay. I'm going to show you guys how I do my smother gravy. Let me find this spoon. 
okay? They go spoon right here, guys. Now, I'm gonna take some flour. Okay, here go my bag of flour, guys. Now, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take some flour with my hands. You see that? And I'm sprinkling it in the skillet like this. This is how you do your smother gravy. You sprinkle it in the skillet like this on top of the little cooking oil that you got left from the pork chops that's already seasoned. Okay. Now, I'm going to put some water in it. Put some water in there. Okay. Then I'm going to put some more flour in there. This is how you can smoke gravy. This is how you can uh, gravy, guys. Then I'm going to put some of these onions. I'm putting these onions in there. Because onions give it a good uh, flavor, okay, that you need. And then I'm going to season my gravy with a little salt. A little pepper. Okay, and then I'm gonna stir it up real good. Now I need some more water for it. Okay, I'm gonna stir it in there real good. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do my gravy. See, that's what I'm doing, I'm stirring it. Now I'm stirring it up real good and it's turning to gravy, guys. You put the flour in there, you put the water, you put the onions, you season it with whatever season you want to season it with. Uh, whatever you want to season it with, you season it with that. But you make sure that uh, Make sure it's not water in there. This how you're going to whip that thing. You whip it till it whip all that lumps out real good. And you whip it till you're real soft and smooth. That's how you do your gravy. That's how you do that gravy, guys. You whip that sucker to all the lumps come out. Make it real smooth, soft, gravy. Okay, that's how you do that. And then how you smother your pork chops in this gravy. Okay, I'm show you guys. How you smother your pork chops. You take your pork chops and you put it inside the gravy. Now I'm only gonna put two in there because my other daughter said she don't want her to smother. Okay, I'm gonna put, you put it inside the gravy and you take the spoon and you put the gravy on top of the pork chops and you let and you still stir it in there and you let the pork chops simmer and cook in this gravy. That's how you do some, uh, some other pork chops, guys. And you let it simmer and you let it cook all the way up in there. I'm going to turn the stove down a little bit. Make a little noise, but. Okay? And I'm going to let it slow cook up in there. I'm going to let the gravy slow cook on top of the pork chop, guys. And I'm going to show you how this look. You got to let it look. You got to let it be. Uh, I'm going to show you how this gravy look. And the pork chops is on the inside of it. Okay, this is how it look, guys. <laughs> the gravy. And the pork chops are on the inside of it, cooking and smothering in there. We call that smother pork chops. And then you also take the gravy and put it on top of your rice. You know, if you want something on top of your rice. That's how you do it, guys. This is how you smother pork chops. Okay, so if anybody don't know how to make gravy, how you make gravy, I'm going to say it one more time. How you make gravy. 
Use the oil that you used already, that's left over from your fried chicken or your fried pork chops. You take that oil, you put some flour up in there, you sprinkle some flour, you start sprinkling the flour up in there real good. You put water in it, and then if it's not enough flour, you gotta keep sprinkling enough flour, put enough water in there until it's, uh, can make it thick enough to turn to gravy. Then you put some onions up in there to give it a, the season and then cook it up in there to give it a flavor, and then you season it the way you want. You can put salt, pepper, a little seasoned salt, a little garlic, powder, whatever how to see however you want to season it. A little salt and pepper, a little garlic, a little lemon pepper. This is how you do gravy, guys. So this is how you do some other pork chops and gravy. And then you stir it up in there. And you stir the season in there real good. Let the season simmer and cook up in there. Let the pork chop simmer and cook up in there. And you got some bomb pork chops and gravy. Smother, smother pork chops. So this is how I do my smothered pork chops. For anyone that want to learn how to do smothered pork chops, this is how I do my smothered pork chops. And it looks good. <laughs> it looks so good. I'm going to show you guys one more time. It looks good, guys. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, it looks delicious. There we go again, guys. This is how it looks. This is how I came my great my smoke pork chop came. Okay. So that's pretty much I made. Let me stir up, let me stir up the butter. I made some buttery rice. Buttery corn. And some smothered pork chops with gravy. Okay, that's what I cooked for dinner, guys. Alright. That's about it, guys. Um, I'm sweating because it's hot in here for cooking. That's about it, guys. Okay, I'm done with this video. I'm done cooking my dinner. So, you guys stay on this journey with me. Comment, like, subscribe, share, hit the post notification button. Uh, try to give me at least 100 likes. Uh, my 400 subscribers. <laughs> 400 likes, 400 subscribers. <laughs> Comment down below, guys. Uh, stay on this journey with me. What kind of what kind of videos you want me to drop? What kind of vlogs you guys would like to, me to do? I am a news YouTuber, so I just been doing this a few months, but I'm doing everything I can to make my channel better, to grow my channel, to, to uh, grow my subscribers, everything. So I'm coming to you guys with some bangers, videos, a lot of cooking vlogs. My next video probably gonna be some homemade tacos, but I'm, then again. I want to make a pan of dressing for you guys. I want to show you guys how I make my dressing. <laughs> okay, that's it, guys. I'm done with this video. Come here. Okay, I'm done with this video. All right. Peace. Hi, YouTube. This is Wendy Franklin again. Okay, I'm done with all my dinner tonight. This is how my smothered pork chops and uh rice and gravy some smother pork chop and gravy rice and gravy and corn this is how my dinner look on tonight guys so i hope you guys enjoy my cooking vlog on tonight you guys have a great day you guys have peace i love you guys stay on this journey with me bye peace i'm sweating so don't pay me no attention <laughs> bye guys